Hey guys, welcome to the Chesapeake. Let me uh, scrounge up a tripod here. I got one here. Let's take off this thing. So we put this on a tripod. Hang on a second, sorry, it's so jittery. There you guys go. How's that? A little bit crooked? Yeah. All right, we'll get that little set. There you go, guys. We are in Maryland. And you are looking at the Ever Forward, which is not really moving forward right now because it's stuck. <laughs> it hasn't sunk, but it ran aground. It ran aground and it is really, really stuck. So uh, I'm out here today. I brought my big camera. Hello, Ohio. So you guys are gonna get some really good video uh, tonight when I upload this video later tonight. That was the Ever, that was a different ship. What was that called? The Ever something else? Same company, different vessel. So this is the Ever Forward and it's really, really stuck. So, I'm going to show you guys tonight, but like the red, the undership painting, it's, it's a lot of it is out of the water. Yeah, it's like seriously, seriously stuck. Ever Given, yeah, that was the other ship. This is the Ever Forward. Sorry about the jitter. It is the same company. Let's zoom this in. There you go. The crew's still on the vessel. Um, we've seen uh, a Coast Guard cutter and a couple, there's a Coast Guard cutter down river, down the bay about 10 miles in Annapolis now. And there's been a lot of pleasure boats go by and there's been a few um, tugboats in the area. But I think they tried to tug it out and it's so, how did it get stuck? Um, let me see if I can show you here, just a second. A little jittery, sorry about that, guys. Let's go over this way. So right over here, there is a buoy. You see that? And everybody said he just missed the buoy. And he went off the channel, which goes out deeper into the bay, and went into there. So, yep, that's all your... Uh, so this was going from Baltimore to Norfolk. Hey, Washington, how's it going? So the tide has been really low lately. I mean, a lot of the folks on the bay have been mentioning that the tide has been very, very low lately. So maybe if they get a high tide and some tugs, someone said that they're gonna have to dredge this thing. They're gonna have to dredge the boat, dredge the boat, dredge the sandbar out to get it out. I don't know, because the boat came into Baltimore and then it was going back to Norfolk, so I'm not sure how much. It's a Taiwanese company, but it's Hong Kong flagged, yes. It's not blocking the channel, so it's not like Baltimore is cut off. I don't really know, but there are websites that can tell you what's on a ship. Not much, Brenda, how you doing? I'm trying to keep this tripod steady. Hey, Sweden, how's it going? Let me try something here. Let's gonna take it down a little bit and see if we can get more steadiness. <sighs> there we go, that's a little bit more steady, don't you think? That's me taking a step. So if I take one step on the pier, <laughs> the camera shakes like that. Cindy, I don't know. You can look it up, though. There are some articles in the Baltimore newspapers about it. It's really nice today. It's in the high 60s. It's going to go up to 70. So uh, I'm wearing a hoodie. Um, it'll get a little bit of a chill off the water, but I'm not cold or anything like that. So 
Um, the Bay Bridge is... Where's the Bay Bridge? That's the Bay Bridge in Annapolis, Maryland. So you guys can get like a point of reference. That's Annapolis, Maryland. I'm on Gibson Island in a town called Arcadia, Maryland. And I'm up about, uh, what do you make that, about seven, eight miles from the Bay Bridge, 10 miles from the Bay Bridge. Hey, greetings, Shelly. So I, I've never been to this park. I just came out here to see the big boat and the woman at the, it cost me like $5 and she's just like, yeah, yeah, you're not alone. Everybody's coming out to see the boat. <laughs> so I took some video um, with my big camera and uh, I will be posting that on my YouTube and Twitter. Uh, also a bunch of A-10s flew right over us. Maryland National Guard A-10s came flying by. That was cool. So... Yeah, I mean, it's, well, the, there's an expression. How do you know you hit a sandbar in the Chesapeake Bay? And it's like, you left dock. Because <laughs> there's so many. But I thought you guys might want to see it. I'm going to put a poll up today. And I said, do you want me to show you the truckers? Or do you want me to show you the boat? And the boat won. But we're going to go back and we might see the truckers when we get into the city. I can't really, I sh wish I could zoom, I wish I could do it from my big camera lens. I didn't bring the other lens today. Yeah, Japan just had an earthquake. Yeah, 7.3 earthquake in Fujiyama, or in, a, in a, the same place as before, I think. So do you know what happened? Well, what I read, he was supposed to go like straight a little bit farther out into right. the channel yeah. and he missed the turn and he just ran into a sandbar and from what I could see with the camera like uh, the the front of the boat you know where they got that little bulb thing mm -hmm. that's almost out of the water so, he's, so he really he's he launched it. from what I read from some folks they're not gonna tug this guy out absent like a super high tide they um, need one of those big they're gonna dredge they're gonna have to dredge underneath it's gonna be here for a while Wow. Yeah. And, and where was the pilot? I don't know if it had a pilot or if they just went. With, they don't have to have pilots? Anymore? I think they thought they did have to have pilots, but but apparently there's like... <laughs> For just that reason. There's an entrance to the ch to the channel over there somehow, and he just, he blew, he cut the corner or something. He cut the, the buoy too, too tight and kablamo. But yeah, if you look closely with like a binoculars, you'll see he's, there's a lot of red out of the water. I mean, it seems to be canted. Yeah, he's. he's also. Yeah, the back's a bit deeper, and he's he's up on something. My goodness, touch wood, they didn't punch a hole in anything that leaks. Yeah. I saw footage of hazmat. Um, yeah, I can see that. Let's see if I can show you. This is too, too bright out here. That's the problem. Yeah, <clears throat> I can see him here. Yeah. And did you pick up on the evergreen? As the yeah, that's a interesting green. thing. From the Suez Canal. Well, it's the name of the vessel is Ever Forward. Yeah. Right. I guess it's not going forward anymore. <laughs> and they're going to have to rename them Ever Red and Clear. <laughs> yep. Say lovey. You can see like the, the front of it there. Yeah, there's actually a cutter, a Coast Guard cutter. Yeah, it's just made his way down there. Out. He was going around a bit, and then a, a, four uh, A-10s from the Aberdeen, they just came by and, and just sort of checked it out too, and then they went off to their... I saw their, one go by a while. Yeah, their bombing runs down that yeah. way. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be stuck for a while, I think. Yeah, buoy 16 or something was the it's wrong really on a secret mission for Putin. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a container ship, really. Yeah, right. He got this far. Yeah. Oof. I haven't seen any crew or anything. They're hiding. <laughs> They're hiding. I guess they don't really have much to do up top. Yeah. Do we know what it's carrying? No, not that I've read. Just it was heading to Norfolk. 
It was from Baltimore to Norfolk, that's all I read. Um, let's say it's about less than half a mile from me. No, I haven't heard about that specifically. I would I would have assumed, but I would have assumed too. So I was kind of curious. I would assume also. Well, you wouldn't be in the channel. <laughs> yeah. I think it was Saturday, and Saturday was that really sustained high wind. Oh, yeah. So he might have got pushed oh, and okay. didn't realize it. Also, and then maybe compounded the mistakes yeah. once he knew it was Saturday night. Blown by the stop sign. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll slow down now. <laughs> it must be such a scary moment. For me. Yeah, you just go. Oh man. I think they're gonna to have to dredge it. I think so. If you if you look at the front, you can almost see the bulb oh. is kind oh, of yeah. out of I, the I water almost. It. And I think I read it's like it's jammed in four or five feet into the sand or something like that. So they've they are, they tried tugs right away. I mean they sent yeah, the tug fleet out. Yeah, the hazmat guy. But they couldn't get it back, so <laughs> He's been out there for a few days, yeah. Was this Saturday? Was it Saturday night or Sunday? I can't remember. It's one of those two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sunday was I, I don't even know what day it is today. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. All right, have a good day. Okay guys, so I will have a much better 4K video of this tonight on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. We're gonna have a video of that. We're gonna run over and try to catch the trucker convoy, grab some lunch. I'm really tempted to go to Annapolis, but I don't know, we'll see what's going on. 42 feet heated, yeah. The channel is like 14 yards deep or 17 yards deep or something like that. They were saying that the weather Saturday night was really rough, and this is really a stacked container ship, so I bet the wind was wreaking havoc with that sucker. Yeah, Fukushima again. I, You know, I have a drone. I do have a drone, but I don't have it with me. And I, was, I almost went out to my beach house this morning, but it would be another hour drive to get to the beach, get my drone, charge it, and then bring it out here. But if... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we, maybe we'll get the drone one day because that's within drone range, guys. That's not that far. It's only a half mile. I could easily fly the drone over there. Yeah, we're in Downs Park. It is a nice park. This is um, so so. You guys got a, a sort of a picture. The entrance to Baltimore. Hang on. The entrance to Baltimore Harbor is right up over there. I'm on a place known as Gibson Island Downs Park. There's the boat, and down over there is the Bay Bridge in Annapolis. Yeah, so that's the Annapolis Bay Bridge. And then here's the boat. So what do you say? Seven, 10 miles north of the Annapolis? A drone would be awesome. I really think I should do that, yeah? I, you know, Andy, I think that might have, they might have to do that. I think they might have to unload some of the cargo if they have a vessel that can do that um, and, and get a high tide, so. Drone would be cool. Okay, guys, more of this will be coming later tonight. I'm going to go back, see if I can find the truckers. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll put some pictures up from here. Talk to you guys cool. Hope, this, hope you enjoyed this. But I've got to get back into the city, and it's a one-hour drive. All right, see you soon.